Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today I'd like to talk to you about marketing automation. Specifically, I'd like to talk to you about creating a custom client experience through automation. Recently, I sat down with Matthew Dufresne from Law Ruler, and he walked me through some of the automation features, including mail merge in text messages. Have a look and see what you think. All right, so hey everyone, my name is Matthew Dufresne. I am with Law Ruler the nation's number one legal intake and CRM software. I've been with Law Ruler now for a few years. My background is in marketing and the legal intake process. Before this, what I did is I helped law firms across the country improve the process and increase their marketing ROI being brought in to help them make the best decisions and equip and empower them with the best technology possible, which is where Law Ruler comes in and they wanted me to join their program and it being my favorite program, here I am. <laughs> Matthew, thank you for uh, for being with me again. I know we've done uh, others of these demo videos, so if people want to see um, anything else on Law Ruler, they can go to our YouTube channel or they can go to you know the Law Ruler page on Lawyerist.com. Um, it, it's great that that you're here for you know you kind of have two um, two levels of expertise here. One is expertise in Law Ruler itself but also expertise in marketing. Uh, and that's what we're specifically talking about today is marketing automations through your legal CRM like Law Ruler. Correct. And that's, that's extremely important because marketing automation, it's the future. A lot of people, you know, a few years ago were like, ah, do I need it? They're teeter tottered. Now it's a necessity. After mm -hmm. COVID, everything went to digital advertising, digital spend. It went away from the hard copies and hard advertising, seeing a huge uptick in that. So now marketing automation is going to either make or break your firm's growth. And you see that across the industry, such as like Google, for example, they've been upping their Google My Business and now have things like Google Verified. Mm -hmm. And they're improving the products every day because they see that uptick in digital trend. Right, right. Well, so uh, lawyers, as they're doing this, they can they can reach out to to Law Ruler, bring it into their their system. And Law Ruler is uh, works with a lot of of law practice management systems, and uh, specifically uh, with Cosmolex and and that family of of uh, systems. Um, if you don't mind, let's let's kind of look under the hood here. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the marketing automation and let's dive into what that means for law firms. So marketing automation is what allows you to make sure that you're getting in front of uh, your potential new clients when they need to hear from you. So for example, if you don't have marketing automation and let's say you're doing digital advertising and you're driving leads to either call you or go to your website and fill out a contact form, those are the two most popular routes. Mm -hmm. um, let's take, for example, the web form. A lot of firms, and I see this a lot, both before and while I've been with Law Ruler, where they'll just send this to a general email inbox and they'll have the intake team monitor that inbox and get to those emails as a first come, first grab. The problem is if all your intake staff is busy, if you're a smaller office, you're a medium office, mm -hmm. if you're a large office, you get a lot of volume, that inbox is getting flooded. By the time you reach out to that person, they have already signed with somebody else. And it's because of our instant gratification attitude that we have to, you know, I right. come from a generation where if, if you don't, if I'm, I'm Googling attorneys near me, and if I call you, you don't answer me, you don't text me. I don't engage with you in any way. I'm going to call the next one on the list and the next one until I get that instant gratification because like if it's PI, I'm hurt. I want help. <laughs> I, I need it now. Um, so let's just kind of uh, make sure that we're covering our bases here with marketing automation. So, you know, your marketing efforts are going to be email or, you know, even a sign on the side of the road uh, or, or something like that, or your intake, like you had, had said, your intake on your website. But the automation portion is saying we want something to happen automatically when somebody connects with us, right? Absolutely. And that's that's the next piece of the puzzle. The first piece of the puzzle is getting your leads, getting those lead sources set up, mm -hmm. and then ramping up that avenue. Then once they come in, automation is what happens next. Right. So in, instead of having them go to that general email, what automation is going to do is it's going to shoot out an email. Most CRMs out there now can send a generic email. Everybody gets them. 
bow text. It's saying, hi, Matthew. Thank you for contacting law firm A. <laughs> we will be with you momentarily. Right, right. Nobody likes those. They get lost in spam. If you send me a text like that, I don't even, I know you didn't send it because it's not personalized. Right. And that's and, not what we're trying to do as, as lawyers here. We're not trying to, to do a shotgun method. You know, these are supposed to be uh, potential new clients that are relatively vetted. And so we do want to have a specific interaction with them, but we, we want to take as much pressure off of our staff as we can, but still make it very particular and very customized to whoever's contacting us. Exactly. And Law Ruler, the best thing about the software is we make it a simple and seamless process to effectively customize those marketing automations. That mm -hmm. is what sets us apart from all the competition in the industry. It's what makes us that number one solution because where people will send out just generic emails and text, you can you can really personalize those. So for an example, let's say you're, in, you're a law firm in Miami, you're handling employment law or PI, you get a lot of Spanish client intakes. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of CRMs out there have no way of handling they're just going to send out a, an English email and English text. Mm -hmm. The problem is that doesn't add value to your client's journey. They right. don't see that, you know, if they filled out the contact us in Spanish and you write them back in English, they know it's not a person. With us, we have filters and we have artificial intelligence that you could preset that'll say, okay, this lead came in from Google My Business. They filled this out and it's from a Spanish ad send this Spanish text and you can even format it with our mail merge technology mm -hmm. where it'd say, you know, Hey Zach, thank you for contacting us on Google, my business. We really appreciate you reaching out. I'm just reviewing information. I'll give you a call shortly from this number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, I'll give you a call shortly from this number um, because I, I don't know about everybody else. Well, I do kind of know about everybody else. We screen our calls now. Yeah. That's, and that's huge. Everybody screens their calls. If I don't, if I don't know you, I don't answer. And right. that first text message, being able to format it and tell it what number you're going to call from is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's just one part of it. So that's, that's the new leads that are coming in. And that's where you're getting that. You're seeing when people are signing up for Law Ruler with our marketing automation, that's where they're getting that immediate return on investment. And they're seeing all these leads that used to fall through the cracks that they swore up and down. Oh, I'm doing enough. Don't worry. My team's got it. They're really good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Your team can be the best team in the world. If you put that marketing automation in there, it's almost a guarantee that your, uh, your conversion is just going to increase. It's just, it's, it's math. It's statistics. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you're reaching out to people more uh, methodically, mm -hmm. more custom tailored based mm -hmm. on their source and more immediately, mm -hmm. you know, and then the next step of that is properly engaging them too. So either set the phone call, or, you know, I have a webinar um, coming out soon, too, that you can find on YouTube where I talk about, you know, how to kind of engage them so they don't call other people. So you can mm -hmm. also send them intakes. You can send them a little question, an initial questionnaire, anything that gets them off of their phone and off that Google list and waiting for your content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the next part of that um, automation process when it comes to marketing is also things like marketing to your internal leads because leads are expensive you paid a lot of money for those lead sources mm -hmm. and a lot of law firms they have all these leads and they don't use them they just sit in a repository and they have no way of uh, exporting they have to export them put them in another software pay for that software structure mm -hmm. that software to where it'll send out a robotic email most of the time mm -hmm. and it's expensive it's time consuming and it's cumbersome so people don't like to do it Instead, they just pay for more new leads. Right. With law rulers marketing automation, you can do everything in bulk. It's why we're one of the number one choices in the mass tort industry. Everything in mass torts is bulk. Mm -hmm. So with our system, you could take all leads in a certain category. Let's say your law firm just opened up. You know, you were doing hernia mesh. Now you're doing 3M. You mm -hmm. can take all those people in hernia mesh. You can filter through the people that answered yes to being a veteran. And then you could put them and change their status to send out an email and text campaign saying, you know, Hey, Zach, thank you so much for choosing us. We heard any mess. We just started covering people for 3M. We know you're a veteran from working with us. Are you interested? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's another huge part of where marketing automation comes in. Right. Right. And that's kind of in the, in the, not just in keeping somebody on a drip campaign, but it's actually actively uh, for the lack of a better word, mining the information that you already have. Exactly. And it's important to mind because Law Ruler does a great job of that. 
And then it's also, you know, it kind of hit it right on the head. It's not just the email and text messaging outreach. Mm-hmm. It is also another thing that we do because phone calls tend to be key. The problem is, is a lot of softwares out there, they don't have a built-in phone system. Right. They're not equipped to schedule callbacks. So you're working off of an old-fashioned call sheet or you're paying for an expensive um, VoIP system out there that it's costing you a fortune. It's not automatic and it's just you know painful to use. With us, we have the built-in soft phone mm-hmm. and you can actually not only automate emails and texts to go out, you can automate your agents to make calls when you want them to make calls. And right. then you can run reports on the calls they're making. So for D- example, like duration you, or, uh, you yeah. know, whether somebody picked up and okay. Well, exactly. And you know what, this helps a lot of people too, because a lot of law firms have gone remote, right? And a lot of law firms realize, why am I paying for an office? This is $2,500 a month. I could put in my pocket. Mm-hmm. I could just go cloud-based and work from home. And mm-hmm. that's, that's where I really help a lot of people because a lot of people don't have a solution where they could track, you know, the phone calls we can. Right. You can not only queue up the call so you can see, okay, I want people in that are a new lead from this ad to be called the first day, the third day, the fifth day, and the seventh day until they're signed. Okay. So we can put that call cadence, we'll queue it right up in our built-in dialer. Mm-hmm. All your agents have to do is hit accept and it starts dialing them out. Mm-hmm. Because we're not a we're not a smart dialer. A smart dialer is a little bit different or an auto dialer, right? As it's known, because that reduces your conversion rates. Uh, I got to tell you, a lot of people are always hearing good things. Like, oh, smart dialers are great. Smart dialers are awesome. I don't know if you've ever gotten a smart dial call, but before you answer, when you answer it, there's a brief pause. Hello? Boop. <laughs> You're like, mm-hmm. oh, no, I'm hanging up. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. want to answer this. It kills conversion. I've watched several huge mass tort firms that have used smart dialers come to our software, mm-hmm. and the amount of of uh roi and the amount of conversion increase they saw was incredible right and, people actually answer their phone and, yeah and, and what we're talking about is the difference between a system that is calling multiple phone you know multiple phones at the same time um and then whoever picks up first then connecting to yep. one of your your agents versus what law ruler is doing is saying hi agent we're we're calling this number right now Exactly. And accept that, please. And that agent accepts it. They make that call. This person has been sent a text message saying, we're going to call you from this number. And it's been put into a cadence, much like an email cadence, um, to just follow up until until somebody says, don't follow up or until somebody says, you know, great, we're we're good to go. Exactly. And then some people worry about that. Some people are like, oh, won't it take longer? Oh, you know, I have too many leads to do that. You really don't. I've right. run a lot of side-by-side campaigns because some people refuse to leave a smart dialer until mm-hmm. they see how much their conversion tanks. Um, then they're like, you know what? Maybe we'll try it your way. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is like, they're like, we, we solve it in a different way. There's no other platform I know of out there that is a cell phone dialer that has the email, that has the voicemail drop. Mm. A majority of people don't like they like the auto dialer because it will just drop automatic voicemails if they don't answer mm-hmm. we can do that with our system too you can pre-record voicemails and if they don't answer and you know they don't answer you hit the button it drops it next call mm-hmm. and my my associate doesn't have to or my assistant doesn't have to spend any time saying the same thing that they were going to say anyway we just drop that that um voicemail in Exactly. And you can have multiple pre-recorded voicemails for different campaigns. Mm-hmm. So your agents know which one to drop in which situation. It just makes life incredibly easy. And it's it's that that saves you that 15 or 30 seconds per call, which is huge because a lot of people are leaving those 15 to 30 second voicemails. Right, right. Yeah. So that's that's a piece of the puzzle that separates us out when it comes to the marketing automation is you can load up the phone calls to go out to and you'd be surprised to see the amount of productivity increase that you get with that, especially especially if you've been working from home or your staff is remote because it gives you that power to see. You can even see who's logged in at the time, who's taking mm-hmm. calls, how many calls they've got. Plus, we make them disposition a call before it's over. So you have to say what happened on that call. And that's all customizable um, answers. Did you leave a voicemail, voicemail box full? Mm-hmm. So you can track you know, what campaigns are working for you. Great, great. 
All right, so let's actually dive in. Let's take a look at our builder for that because what I don't want to do is I don't want people to think, oh man, this sounds awesome, but it's super complicated. I'll never know how to use it. Right, I'm right. I couldn't do that. Or, yeah, yep. <laughs> you know, I hear that. I do demos all day. Um, you know, my position here is is leader of the sales department and I talk, you know, it's, it gives me the pleasure to talk to a lot of different attorneys and every mm -hmm. single person is like, I don't want to set this up. Right. I, I've never heard one person excited to set up a new software. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be With, an attorney, right? <laughs> they wouldn't be an attorney. <laughs> Everybody says, Oh, can you do it for me? You know, a law really, we make it so simple, so seamless to set everything up our system. So intuitive. It's not hard. And we can, we can even show you how to do it. We've got videos show you how to do it. And this is how easy it is. So this is our template builder for automation. Here you can see right off the bat, what do you want to do? Do you want to schedule a call, send a text, send an email? You can even um, send out a task. Mm -hmm. So there's, because there's also, we don't just do marketing automation. We have automation for your entire workflow. Right. So on a different day, what I'd love to talk to you about, and we'll set up time if uh, people want to hear about this, we can even automatically bring a client from start to finish you know, mm -hmm. uh, throughout the entire process. You can move them from status. You can send out e-signs automatically. You can change owners automatically to a different staff member when you know at this point this person takes over. You know, we our whole goal as a software company mm -hmm. is to reduce the amount of manual mundane tasks you face on a day-to-day -day basis. Sounds like a good goal. I, I like companies that are that are looking for that. If And I, I do recall... Um, if people want to learn a little bit more about that, they can just look at one of our previous um, product spotlights uh, with Law Ruler and uh, Lawyerist. Perfect. So this is the builder. So now that we've got what we want to do, the next step is to name it. This is off a Google pay-per-click ad campaign because I'm going to make it to where only Google pay-per-click ad um, people that reached us from that source mm -hmm. receive this email. This way we can go to do what I was saying before, which is uh, customize it. We can mm -hmm. make it targeted. Statuses are what trigger our campaign. So you can trigger campaigns based off statuses. There's a few things you can trigger it off of. This is what we're going to focus on today. So I want it to whenever somebody comes in, it's labeled as a new lead. This is what they get. They get it immediately. I'm just going to leave it here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit next. This is where we can filter it out. So this is where you say, now you've got the when, now you need to select the who. Mm -hmm. So this is where you come in. Who do I want this? Do I want this to be in English, French, or Spanish? Um, do I want this to go out to all case types or is this a specific case type ad? Like, is this a dog bite ad? Mm -hmm. So I can get even more custom tailored. You can say, thank you for contacting us about your dog bite case. For right. this one, we're going to filter by source. I'm going to come in here and there's going to be a Google paper click. So you can see a Google paper click. Mm -hmm. This is who will this deliver to. So automations, we don't, we can do internal automations as well as external automations. So, you know, mm -hmm. if you want a new lead to send you a customized notification to your cell phone or your email address, you can do that in our system too. For this example, we're going to be doing marketing. So we're going to select to deliver to the client. Mm -hmm. So now we've got that who. The next step is to trigger call automation. We want to schedule that call. So as soon as they come in, I wanted to schedule a call for a minute after they come in. This way, an intake agent, that queue, that all the call automatically queues up in the dialer. And they're ready to go. They're ready to take it. Mm -hmm. Now you could schedule multiple callbacks on the same campaign. So if you want after their new lead to not only do a minute, but then like an hour and then four hours, you could do that. Mm -hmm. We're going to skip past the document and workflow automations. Those, if you want to see, you can um, visit one of our previous one on Lawyerist, or you can look up Law Ruler on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We've got a few highlights on that. Um, those are all revolving around your workflow automation. So we're going to skip past that. We're going to dive straight into the email. So email marketing is still big. It's not as effective as text message marketing or phone call marketing, mm -hmm. just because there's so much noise there, but you, it's still a good idea to send it as many texts right. as you possibly do. Um, here you can see we have a bunch of custom built templates, but the most important thing, and not a lot of CRMs out there give you this ability, you can import an HTML template. So if you mm. want to build your own template, you can import it. You don't have to use our builder. But for and, now, we're going to do plain text. And an HTML template being one that looks more like a web page than just, you know, an email that I'm sending to uh, to my colleague. It, it might have images. It would have some formatting. It would have possibly different colored text and things like that. Exactly. And it looks more, unfortunately to me, I don't like HTML templates personally. Mm -hmm. I don't think they get the message across as well. They're busy and people see it. And they immediately go, that's spam. Right, right. It, it does seem like an advertisement sometimes. Um, 
But at the same time, a lot of these email are almost receipts of contact. And so, you know, I, I can see very easily that being something that somebody wants to see. That's true. If you have the HTML is good if you're doing things like not marketing outreach for new warm leads, but if you're doing cold outreach or you're doing newsletters, or you're doing mm -hmm. things like that. Law Roller can you can do that with us. That's where HTML becomes a really good asset. Mm -hmm. But when we're reaching out to new leads, we want to make it seem like we wrote this ourselves. Right, right. So the first thing we're going to do, we have this floating tile here. A lot of people's complaint, even with other CRMs that have a uh, built-in email because a lot of them can't do text they can only do built-in email mm -hmm. a lot of them that offer text messaging they're third-party apps they're not built into the software right our texting is built into the software plus you own your texting number it is a real number and i really just want to i know we're segueing something different but i want to mention something real quick mm -hmm. extremely important with our numbers they're real when you call the texting number it will go through i can point it wherever you want me to point it right versus a lot a few other companies i know of out there when you call that number it's not a real number it's going to mm -hmm. say this this uh number it cannot be completed as dial please try right. later right you under no circumstances want that to happen <laughs> right 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 if you're texting them and it and they say you know i'd rather call them or i'd like to call them back and answer this question you want it to go through appropriately Yes, because if you think about it yourself, if you call somebody that's asking you a bunch of questions through a text message mm -hmm. and it said this number can't be completed as dialed, your mind's going to, man, I've just got scammed. Right, right. Yeah. You Again, you are a real attorney contacting these people for <laughs> real reasons that they reached out to you. So you want to make it to where they can connect with you. Exactly. You want to make that customer journey mm -hmm. highlighted in that. So to going back to building this out. So building this out, well, the way we're going to customize it using this floating tile here, it's magic tile. So most um, softwares will make you go to a different page or they'll make you memorize or go to a support article to get their mail merge codes. Mm -hmm. We put in a floating tile that's easy to use. You just select the drop down, you type in what you're looking for. So I'm going to do name, look up, lead first name, I'm going to click on copy. And then it allows us to just paste it right in here. Mm -hmm. So now this is going to send whatever person's name. So I can do lead first name, Thank you for contacting Walter May. Then you come back in here, you can do like, hi, Team Ming. You know, thank you. This one's coming from Google Pay Per Click. So thank you for calling us from Alan. Then we come in here, we can look up the source. And then we can copy and paste the source in here. You know, it's coming through. So thank you for going for a campaign. Um, I am reviewing your information that you had left and I will be reaching out to you shortly mm -hmm. and then you just go through and you fill out the rest of it you can fill anything out our mail merge codes are vast you can even make custom mail merge codes that you want to use for okay. example if you want to customize your own website you want to put anything in there we can do all that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then that's the email portion the same thing with the text message portion you just use this you know you copy and paste the texting it just goes right in there makes life easy and then once you're done you just hit add campaign and close you're done that's it it's not hard to build it's quick we did it in less than 10 minutes right right yes that that's relatively easy it's it's pretty um simple to to conceptualize it you know you had the who are we sending it to well uh, you know wh when are we sending it who are we sending it to what are we sending um and then basically making that personalized Exactly. And it's that personalization, that mail merge code technology, especially in text messages mm -hmm. that make us, that, that makes the difference because I'll tell you that text messaging component's huge because, you know, a lot of people get spammed and just bombarded with email after email or it goes mm -hmm. to spam. You never know where it goes. Right. 70% of people, when they get a text message, they look at it immediately. Mm-hmm. The other 30% still look at it. They just look at it 10 minutes later. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and, and this is, you know, this is how people are interacting <laughs> with the internet um, many, many times anyway, is on their phone. They likely filled out your, you know, if, if we're filling out a uh, an intake form on your website, they potentially or more likely filled that out on their phone anyway. And so getting a text message that says, hi, thanks for filling out this form on our website is very, very natural and very, very normal. 
Absolutely. And that's, that's the beauty of it is everything we do is mobile friendly here at Longwood mm-hmm. because mobile's the, it's the future. It's people want to work on their iPads. You want to, you know, respond to lawyers on their iPads, their phones. They don't want to use a computer. Mm-hmm. It's cumbersome to go and break out a laptop or go to my desktop to do the work or to, if I'm a lead coming to you to respond to an email. Because uh, a lot of programs too, they don't, they don't think of making it mobile friendly. They just send out an email, but they don't think of how it's going to look in the mobile mm-hmm. or they'll send out a text or they'll just take the email to convert it to a text, but the text looks broken because they put it in an email format. So it'll look like a thousand page text. Yes. <laughs> which we've all gotten and we don't we don't even let you do that we warn you right here beforehand so you can't do that right. we, we very politely tell you don't send your clients paragraphs they're not going to read it in the text message no no that's that's exactly right if you want to do that guide them to an email make a phone call something like that yeah exactly and it's it that's our whole um, automation program. And that's, that's really what we're looking to do with marketing. We're, we're just trying to, you know, at the end of the day, we're a legal CRM. We're trying to make you more money. We're trying to increase your conversion because that's, it's a business at the end of the day. That's what we're all here. That's what we're all here to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Matthew, uh, once again, thanks for, for being with us on this. I really appreciate you showing us around the marketing automation aspect of law ruler. And again, if people want to see, other things that Law Ruler can do, they can they can either you know check out our YouTube page, go to our uh, review of Law Ruler, or more importantly, go to LawRuler.com, and I, I'm sure they can get you know a demo and and uh, get set up there to to learn a lot more about it. Absolutely, you can always book a demo; it'll go right to me, and I'd love to meet everyone and see how we can help. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, again, thanks, Matthew, and we'll see you next time. You're welcome. See you soon.